first it never should have happened. It just breaks your heart, you know. A girl enters her daycare just fine and leaves like this. That child's parents speaking exclusively with ABC 15. When they picked up their three-year-old daughter from daycare, they noticed her face battered and bruised, and they didn't buy the explanation. ABC 15's Zach Crenshaw in Prescott Valley Forest tonight, and Zach, police say the parents' intuition was right. And that accurate intuition already leading to an arrest. An 18-year-old at this facility called Gummy Bear Early Learning Center now charged with child abuse and aggravated assault. And at least four other parents now alleging their children were abused as well. Three-year-old Ivory has bruises and scratches all over her face. She's very sweet, very lovable. But as Dad Miguel was picking up little Ivory from daycare Tuesday, he was approached by employee Chandler Blankenship. He's like, hey, you know, she was in altercation uh, with another little boy. But it all seemed off to Miguel. It doesn't seem right. Ivory's mom, Rebecca, felt the same. No way a kid could have done that to her. So they called police, who reviewed surveillance footage. He admitted to it. 18-year-old Blankenship, only employed five months, allegedly told detectives he pulled little Ivory off a sink and she hit her head hard on the ground. Police say he then admitted to slapping her on both sides of her face. Miguel's only thought... What my daughter felt in that restroom and me not being able to be there and protect her. Since the arrest... Some other parents have come forward. My child has marks. My child has bruises. We were there as police executed a search warrant at the nondescript building. Forensic experts also interviewing at least four other possible victims. As for Ivory... Her bruises are healing, but her parents worry about lasting damage. We just want to know everything, and we just want our daughter to be okay. And late tonight, daycare managers telling us there were no prior signs of abuse by Blankenship, but admitting that's no excuse for what happened. To Rebecca and Miguel, we are so horribly sorry for what happened, and we wish there was something we could have done. Now, Blankenship has been released from the Yavapai County Jail. I'm also told police are stationing extra patrols around his house because of threats on social media. As for the daycare center, they say they fired him. In Prescott Valley, Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. Extreme heat.